We want to do something that really stands out and just focus on that and make it really, really good. One of the big things that separates Guild Wars 2 from a lot of other MMOs is that how you move through the world is a big part of interacting with it. We really wanted to push the joy of movement we saw work so well in the past. Players might be expecting mounts in that other games do them. I don't think they're expecting mounts quite like how we've done them. In most games, mounts are just the speed boost. We could do that and we could do it and take it one step further. The thing we're trying to do with all the mounts is have them have very different methods of locomotion. So it's not just an aesthetic change when you get a new mount, it's also a bit of a gameplay and game style change. Your mount is effectively part of your character. It gives your character tools to move around the world and interact with the world in ways you couldn't before. What makes mounts the most fun is how they feel when you're riding them. And so we actually started with the movement abilities and really designed the mounts around them to a great extent. Different abilities that really stood out from one another without being overly complicated. We knew we wanted something that would jump forwards primarily at high speed. We knew we wanted something that would be more vertical. We wanted something that would give you a good experience on water. When we decided to add mounts and then decided to give them these, these movement tools, it had an effect on particularly map design. The new maps that we'll be adding in Path of Fire are actually much larger than our normal maps. We wanted to make sure that the environments were big enough to feel like you were traveling great distances. They really take advantage of the mounts, faster movement speeds, movement abilities. Then we could really go back and start to carve out the specific jumps and areas tailored for each mount. A lot of our terrain is got a lot of shortcuts and hidden nooks and crannies. There's more variety in these maps than we've ever had before. When we were first coming up with our current set of mounts, it starts from finding a creature that also works with the movement mechanic. And then usually a concept artist will go out and mock up some concepts of like what the mount could be. I was amazed at how well the art team pulled out the personality for every single mount. We got the cool one, the sleek one, we got the cute amicable one. Some people had some reserves about how cute the giant bunny was. I personally had doubts that a giant rabbit would really fit into uh, the Guild Wars universe. I absolutely love it, and I am thrilled that there is a place in Guild Wars for cuter things. A good mount is something that you could fall in love with, something that complements the design of your character. The one thing I really want players to think when they first experience a mount is that sense of connection. The audio made a big difference for mounts. It really helped them come alive. The way I really approached uh, mounts from the beginning was to try to give each one of them their very own sense of the proper weight and scale. We really wanted to sell the thought of them being large presences in the world. We had a system for how all of the characters move, and that system wasn't going to work for the mounts, so we had to build an entirely new movement layer. Then it was a process of iterations after iterations after iterations. Our artists have gone to great lengths to give these things uh, a personality, and to make all this look really smooth and, and lifelike, and uh, I think the effect is quite impressive. It really provides this feeling of each mount is its own experience, even just basic movement around the world. I really hope that the uh, designs will stand out from each other and everybody could maybe have a favorite. I don't think anybody was expecting mounts done in exactly this way. So even the folks who are uh, looking forward to mounts are going to have, I think, a lot of really nice surprises waiting for them.